how can you improve your lining for IVF? What is a good lining? Uh, that's the most important question. Um, I mean, the unless seven, eight millimeters, I would say, but even with four, five, six millimeters, women get pregnant, but the chances are lower, of course. To get higher chance of getting pregnant, you need perfect endometrium. What is perfect? Not too thin, not too thick. So at least seven, eight millimeters, but not more than 14, 15 millimeters, I would say, that would be perfect. Uh, how to get it perfect? How to get a perfect bed for the baby? Uh, well, I will tell you uh, things, uh, things that can decrease the quality of your endometrium. First of all, this is what I am doing my research now, uh, is endometrial uh, microbiota. It is a uh, bacteria, you know, uh, if you have an infection in your uterus, uh, then it has to be treated with antibiotics before you proceed with preparing your endometrium. There are different bacteria and viruses that can live in your uterus and uh, cause chronic inflammation, so-called chronic endometritis. Uh, the best way to check it is to do a PCR test, not a uh, culture, but PCR. This is the best way to check whether you have bacteria in your womb or not. We do it in your in uh, in our EGV clinic, we can check your endometrial and microbiota. And if you have some sexual transmitted diseases like chlamydia, trichomoda, etc., etc., or virus or any bacteria in your uterus, it can be treated. So first of all, infection free. If there is no infection, another thing is um, fibroids. Uh, fibroids also can uh, reduce the blood flow in your endometrium and uh, therefore uh, the thickness will not be good enough. Uh, the next thing is um, uh, liquid in the tube. It's called hydrosuppings. Uh, surprisingly, it's not your uterus, but if you have some liquid in your tube, uh, then it can cause your endometrium uh, it, it can affect your endometrium quality. So I recommend to the tube uh, to be removed before you have your embryo transfer. Uh, the next thing is blood flow. Blood flow is everything, you know. To improve your blood flow, you need to exercise and your uterus needs to exercise. What is the best exercise for your uterus is good sex, of course. And uh, of course, your overall core training, uh, hiking, um, uh, some yoga classes that will also uh, improve your mood, make you calm. And you know, I always say to my patients, mom have to be calm and no stress. You have to be you have to trust your doctor, of course, you have to trust your body and just leave some space for miracle to happen. You know, trust God and give him ch chance to do his work. Uh, not only medicines, not only what we do, but also some, you know, uh, something extra can help you to get pregnant. Um, and actually, with medications, of course, it's estrogen treatment. Uh, uh, your doctor will prescribe you uh, the best way to, to take estrogens, either transdermally, there are different patches or gels you can use over your skin, you can take it orally, you could put them vaginally, and also there is Viagra you know, sildenafil that you can put vaginally in, in a form of pill and it also improves endometrial quality well, uh, very well. So uh, there are many ways, there are, there are micro elements, there is omega, there is, uh, uh, you know, medications to improve blood circulation, Low dose aspirin, so called heart aspirin, also improves uh, circulation and improves endometrial quality. So, your doctor will choose the best way for you 
to have the perfect bed for your embryo. Good luck. <laughs>